Located in the Rocky Mountains at the base of the Rampart Range, we're in Colorado Springs for today's game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. Miami of Ohio is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's brought down in the open field. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 36. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Tackle made at the 32 yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throws out and through his hands. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. That brings up second down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They hand it off. Tackle for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. Taken down at about the 33 yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is head. really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. So at the end of one quarter, and this one's scoreless. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Brought down right around the 24-yard line. That's a deep line on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. That was a 
well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 67 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's got the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 37. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. From their own 37-yard line, second down. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Aaron and out long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. He's to the 40, brought down at the 40-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Miami of Ohio is up a score. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes at about the 49. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throws middle to the tight end. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. That's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. It's on the ground. The offense scoops it out. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Short over the middle. Tackle made right around the 20. That'll bring up 32. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Miami of Ohio can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. The Red Hawks quarterback down there on the sideline, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. Missed tackle. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24. They're ready to begin another drive. out to around the 35. We played a half of football. The Red Hawks lead 10 nothing.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 47. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Who's tied in? Tackle at about the 39 yard line. Number 13 brings him down with the 39 yard line. First down. From the 39 yard line. First down. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 29 yard line. Number 36 on the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 18. Gain of 11 yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. his receiver touchdown and did that play ever develop nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch he makes the PAT The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 40. The Red Hawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's the give. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and 10. 
from their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Gets to about the 44 yard line. They're just one quarter away. 17 to nothing, Miami of Ohio. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, second down. Gives it to the back. Very good tackle in space. Positive yardage. Flag on the play. Let's see what it Whistle is. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. It'll be third down again Still after that down. penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. So that's going to do it. The Red Hawks get the win. 17 0. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.